What's up, guys? It's Sunday. Um, what is the day? Oh, March 1st, 2015. So a lot of people ask me what I do for cardio, so I figure I'll make a video explaining exactly what I do. So as you can see in this video, this is what I do for cardio pretty much every time. So I jump on this machine, and um, actually I just got my cardio for contest prep increased to uh, four days a week at 400 calories a session. So I prefer this pre-core you could call it a runner, you could call it like a hybrid elliptical slash stair stepper, but basically it allows you to go up and down and forward and backwards. The newer versions are even better because they, um, uh, it's funny, my camera's having a hard time deciding what light to focus on because it's the orange walls behind me in the office here. Anyway, sorry, so um, the newer ones have rubber bands instead of uh, rigid poles on each side, and you can actually adjust the... Um, the force that allows you to go up and down and the force back and forth. So they're, they're a little bit better. Um, but this gym here in, in Rockland, this CalFit that I train at, only has the older style. So anyway, this is the machine that I think is the best because you, you, can, um, you can really stretch your stride out and you can extend your legs like you're actually running. And it's low impact, like an elliptical. And if you want, you can switch to stair stepper and literally just go up and down as I'm demonstrating in the video. I personally don't do the stair stepper because it's less efficient. Um, so I usually just try to run and I really stretch my stretch out uh, my stride and try to get a full stride. And um, you'll get at a, like a it has a one to twenty resistance, and so around uh, five or six, you can literally burn twelve to thirteen calories a minute based on it, the metrics. And and to be honest, guys, the metrics are not super important. Um, how accurate they are. It just matters how consistent they are. So I try, I do medium intensity steady state cardio. So I try to get my heart rate anywhere between 140 and 160. Sometimes if I had a hard workout and I do cardio after, my heart rate's going to be a little bit higher just because uh, I'm a little bit more fatigued. So getting the same, the same workout is a little bit more difficult, but, but then I'm burning more calories. So it's not a big deal if you go a little higher. I personally um, don't do any hit uh, maybe like the last minute or two, I'll crank up the intensity because I know I'm almost done and I'll, you know, sprint it out per se, but I don't do any uh, formal high intensity interval training just because I, I train legs twice a week and it just seems like uh, it really affects my recovery. Even though HIT will give you uh, a greater amount of calories burned um, over time, like there's a carryover because of um, the, the, the peaking that you're doing, you'll... Um, even you know after the workout, it takes longer for your body. But again, that's going to affect your recovery. So personally, uh, I think cardio is the best thing you can do. To um, aside from you know obviously lowering your diet, you can only you only want to take food down so much. I mean, you need carbs and uh, cardio, especially medium or low intensity, steady state cardio is not that taxing. You could do it every day if you had to, and you in especially for natural bodybuilders who are not um, gigantic. You know if you're your FFMI is anywhere between 20 and 26. It's not like you're an enormous human being for the most part. And doing something like this that's low impact, this or the bike or a stair stepper, uh, is not going to mess up your joints. And you, you, know, you can recover from it easily. So I really think this machine or machines similar to these, there's arc trainers that are pretty similar, uh, are the best form of cardio. And it's, in my opinion, the best way to increase your daily caloric deficit and burn fat while uh, maintaining your muscle mass, or even uh, increasing it if you're, you know, if you're relatively new to lifting. Because that's the uh, that's the awesomeness of being new to lifting weights is that you can burn fat and gain muscle at the same time for, uh, you know, I'd say as much as the first two years of your of your training. But anyway, I hope that answers a question that I get all the time. What type of cardio do I do during contest prep? And I'm a big fan of cardio. I just think it's really good for your heart. And it's not going to keep you from, you know, you're not going to lose muscle mass unless you're really creating a very large caloric deficit. And then you could lose muscle mass. Or if you're, you know, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, it takes me exactly 33 to 36 minutes on average to burn 400 calories. So... There you go. That's all the info uh, that I get asked all the time about this question. So I hope that really answered your question. Hope that helped you out. Have a great day. Cue the outro.